Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Your buddy John Megacycle here. Another episode of the BIY Build It Yourself series I'm working on. Uh, let's see, where do we leave? Actually, let me show you where we left last time. Um, this is where we left off. I was building out Purple Science. And we got it to the letter what I need, but I got halfway through building out red circuits, and I'm like, you know what? Oh, butts. Where am I supposed to get more plastic from? And I didn't really have a good answer for that. For this red circuit setup, I already figured out how much plastic was needed for blue science. And the idea is I want all my blueprints to be just like this. Bam, there's more blue science. Just plug it in and we're done. That was the idea. Let's double check the math and make sure I have enough. Let's get old Calculabatron out here. Make sure I have enough of this for what I need. So every six seconds I need two. We have ten, we have twenty. So every six seconds I need twenty. Twenty divided by six means I need 3.3 .3 plastic a second. This makes two plastic a second. Actually two four would have been enough. I think I overkilled it slightly. Let's do that math one more time. I have 10 machines. I have 20 machines. Oh. Yeah, 20 machines times the two. Wait, how much plastic do I need? Times two plastic divided by six. Oh, actually, this might be a little short. This makes two a second. Two, four, six. Let me do the math one more time. I'm really bad at this. I don't know why. Generally, my math is fine. I have 20 machines. <laughs> so I have 40 plastic bars I need every 6 seconds. 40 divided by 6. This makes 2 a second. Yeah, I'm actually a little short. I think I'm a little short here. Um, going back and looking at the other world, it's not going to matter. Uh... I don't think that math is right. I mean, two a second. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah, we're two machines. We're plastic worth of two short. So, when I designed all this, I figured out all the oil I would need before we get to the big... Before, uh, for, blue, for blue. Now, I want to come over here, and we're going to refactor this for... Advanced, because that's what's going to happen next. So, let's go through the math on why I came to this conclusion right here, right? So, I need 20 oil every second. That's 60 oil a second. That's 90 oil a second. This took 45 to make 5. So, 90... And the process takes 5 seconds. So 90 times 5 is 450. This produces 45. Yeah. Yep, that's right. So that's how this came to 10. So I needed 10 to keep up with this plastic and this sulfur. To keep everything running. So that's how that worked. Now, for this, this is going to be a little bit different. We're not only just producing petroleum gas. We're actually producing light and heavy oil as well. Now, this system here is designed to be self-sufficient, also produce lubricant, also produce light, so we could do uh, solid fuel and such, and I haven't done the math on that yet. But when it comes to this, I need much more, much more plastic to keep this going on, right? I have 20, I have 40. Uh, so I need how much plastic a second? I have 40 machines, that means 80. 80 divided by 6 is... Where's the calculator? <laughs> it just closed itself. 80 divided by 6. I need 13 plastic a second. Divided by 2 is 6 point wah wah wah. I need 7. I need 7 plastic makers. So let's just... Come on. Grab this. So I need boop, boop, boop. That's what I need for plastic makers. Now, how do we sedate this? I need... 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. I need 140 oil every second. 
This is divided by 5 again. So uh, 140 times 5 is 700. Divided by how much petroleum can I possibly make in 5 seconds? So let's get, let's get notepad out here as well. Um, I can make 5... I can make 55 times 10. I can make 550 petroleum using the normal advanced recipe. So minus, so 700 minus 550 in 5 seconds because I have 10 of them. No, actually that would be in, yes, because I have 10 of them every 5 seconds. So I, I multiplied the 140 I need every seconds to 5 seconds to make the math easier. So it'd be 700 minus 550 is 150. So I need to make up 150 petroleum gas every five seconds. Let's talk about how we would do that. We have this, then we have this. For the heavy, uh, let's do the heavy probably. The heavy we produce is 25 every five, that's 250 light oil. This is 40, so I can convert this five times, six times. So that would be six times, that's 180 light oil, so 180, I know I'm rounding a little here. 180 light oil, how much light oil do I get out of this process? 45, so that's 450 light oil. 450 light oil, I can convert this 15 times. 15 times 20, that's more than enough oil. That's 300. That's plenty. That's more than plenty. And excess. Yep. That's more than enough. I don't mind if we overproduce. I just very much don't want to underproduce. So let's take this again. Let's see if we can do this with less refineries. Why does the why does the minimize button also close the calculator? Windows. Oh my god, so angry. I don't have the I don't have the stamina to be angry anymore. Um Okay. So let's do the math. I still need 700 every 5, right? 2 4 6 7 That's 140 times 5. 140 times 5 is 700. So 700 uh, petroleum. If I cut this down to 8, so 55 times 8, ah, dude, <laughs> I'm so, um, yep, 55 times 8 produces 400 petrol, 45 times 8 produces 360 light, Then some amount of heavy. Uh, 25 times 8. It's 200. I didn't have to use a calculator for that. Okay, 200. Okay, so I need 700 petrol. From what I need from 700 to, uh, minus 440 is 260 petrol. So I need 260 P with 360 L and 200 H, light and heavy. So, for heavy, how much heavy can I, can I scoosh into this? So I have 200 heavy, that means I can do this five times. 200 divided by 40 is five. 30 times five is 150 light. So I'm gonna document plus 150 L. Get rid of the H, so I have 510 light. 510 light means I could do this 10, 11, 12. I could do this 17 times? 17 times 20? <laughs> um, uh, 17 times 20 is 340. 340 plus 440 is 770. That's 10% more than I need. That's our kicker. That's cool. Nix, nix. Get out, get out, get out. Get out. Perfect. Okay, that's that's perfect. I didn't count how many machines I needed. I don't need I don't need more lubricant. 
Uh, that's... I don't need... Oh, I don't need... I don't need any of this to happen. Um, so let's see here. We produce... Oh, let's get the heavy back up. Heavy? 200 heavy every five seconds. I can do this... No, 200. 200 heavy every five seconds. Um, 200 divided by 40 is 5. However, it's divided by 2. So it's 2.3... 2.5 machines. So I need three machines. The only thing this is going to make is plastic, literally nothing else. So I don't need that crap. I don't need any of that crap. Okay, that trims it up really nicely. Now, for 510 light every five seconds... Uh, help me out. I think this is 17. Why does... Okay. I must be just mental imaging hitting Alt F4 or something. Is it 500 divided by 30? 510 divided by 30 is 17. Uh... We do the 17 times divided by two machines. Actually, be divided by 2.5. Uh, man, I wish I could go back on a calculator. 17 divided by 2.5 is 6.8. It's technically 7 then. Uh, this looks correct. Yeah, that looks about correct. What this will then turn into... ...is a whole mess of plastic production. This stuff is gonna get cut immediately. There's no reason for any amount of flip-flapping around when it comes to anything. This gets... there's no... oh, only if the number is so hot. No. This gets brokered into spaghetti sauce immediately. Pure spaghetti. So something like this. Uh, do I need a pump? I don't think I need a pump. We're not moving tons of volumes of stuff anyway. I would very much like this recipe to be relatively inexpensive. So spacing is not the biggest concern I have. This is going to be a little bit of a bigger problem, and then this is going to be a bigger problem yet, which we'll figure out in a minute. I don't need that right now. Um, to make this easy on my very soft brain... There's your water. Again, want to keep it a little inexpensive if I can. This, then, is going to go right into light. Actually, this worked out. All right, I'm going to pull this out one more. Thank you. And then that. Eh. Uh, I could actually trim this up. A bunch. There. That looks actually a bit better. This looks like this. Um, I wouldn't mind a pump, but I don't think I see a super great way for me to do that. Oh, yeah, there is... Oop, right there. Perfect. Uh, we're gonna go with medium pulls this time. I think we are far enough in the chain... Uh... Just keep using lights. I'll just keep being pissed off about it. <laughs> It'll be fine. I'm not worried. Are you worried? I'm not worried. That flushes light back into the system. Now, what I probably could do to save space is put light right here instead. There's no super duper good way to do this. Other than... We already had this displayed before. Hold on. Um, Where was it? Here. This was a system that makes it very visually simple. But I found that it ate up a little too much space. It was a little less expensive, which was cool. Uh, you know what I really could have done, now that I really look at this? 
is we could have done this, which would have reduced some weight. That would have saved a bit of space. Actually, you know what? Now that I'm really taking a hard look at this... That saved a whole row right there. And a lot of underneath these. Yeah. Well, anyway, um, that's that. That's in the past now. But it would be it would be this kind of a thing if I wanted to do something different, which I don't think I'm really feeling super hard up to do. Uh, I think I'm pretty happy with this. But we could use the same system here. It would just be a lot of underneath these, and I don't think it would actually save enough space for me to justify it. So I need a total of what? Seven. Uh, one more down, please. Thank you. One more over yet. Thank you. Um, this is water. Actually, this might be a lot easier if I just do it this way. Connect all the waters the same way, right? Maybe that's the gimmick. The gimmack. Oh, actually, I use underneath these for this. Um... Oh. Oh, again? <laughs> this is why we test, damn it. Can I get the water from here to over there easily enough without it being too much of a pain in the- yes, I can. Now, can I get light over here? Yeah, of course. Uninspired? Sure. But I aim for functionality over anything else anyway. Now this down like oh god I don't know what happened there all I know is it certainly happened <laughs> what happened it certainly did what did I yes <laughs> several several all at once does that answer your question it certainly doesn't answer mine all right this will work out really well, even with these little pulls, no problem. So we got water coming in from here. It does the whole thing. Connects, it connects, it connects. Okay, that flashes heavy to light, light to petrol, petrol to whatever else we've got going on. This cleans up. That cleans up. There's no more areas water's coming in. Uh, I would like this, actually, to be mirrored on the other side. That's not correct. Um, what if I did this? that do it? All right. Heavy, 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 heavy. Um, that's done. This is going to be very straightforward. There's not a lot of kerfuffing about I need to do. The only thing that's going to be even remotely complicated about this is how do we get coal in? And then the plastic out. 
This most likely might require red belts. Oh yeah. Yep, I thought about it for literally half a second. It super duper does. The how... Painlessly would be ideal. Painless... Painless is, a uh, Not always an option. Painless would be ideal, though. Uh, the other thing is powerless. Much of this stuff won't be power connected. There we go. Uh, good enough. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be offset- oh, you know what, I also have to hook up this crap. It's gonna be offset somehow, right? Oh, actually, if I connect it this way, it doesn't have to be. Alright, that made that easy on me. There. It's adorably compact. Uh, actually, it's not gonna work, damn it. Uh, coal, right? How are we gonna... That's balanced enough anyway. Coal has to get in here somehow. How... Uh, we'll just do it like this. Screw it. Uh, formality's annoying. And this is also... Cool, and then, um... There we go, just like we've always done it. Um... That's it, right? Not a super complex process, but it's one that has to be paid attention to all the same. This will provide enough plastic for all of purple science and nothing else. <laughs> uh, I'm realizing as we're, we're making all these itemized processes over and over and over and over again, maybe it's best to just go back to a big bus. A big old big bus and just call it a day, right? Anyway, here is this. So this has to connect somewhere for all this to make any magic about anything. So how tight can we get this in here? Where's the leftmost? Leftmost is right there. That is the thing. This is very tall. This is stupidly, ridiculously tall. For reasons I'm sure I'll make sense of later. Is there any way we can compact this? And the answer is a resounding, not really. Is there any way I can feed this some other way so it doesn't just belt right across like the green stuff? A resounding, not really. Okay. Man, this is a lot of effort just for plastic, but we are unlocking an entire new tier of research, so I'll complain a little, fine. But in the grand scheme of things, this is going to be pretty dope. Um, what I could do is I could use this void space 
and maybe move light oil processing up here and that would save me five squares six squares that's an option that's a not terrible option uh considering if i go to the very right nope right here this is unused territory now if i were to just pick this up and slap it yep that that would work and that would free me up a bunch of squares yeah i i like it let's do it uh this is gonna need to get rewired and everything but that's okay is this the farthest yes it is Other option is to just use underneath these for the whole thing and just be like, damn, who cares? How how am I feeling about that? Oh, actually, you know what? It doesn't matter. The refineries are too wide. It does it legitimately doesn't matter. The refinery's too wide. Um, okay, so as long as water makes it up here somehow. Leftmost is right here. Okay. That's not the worst thing I've done today. It's a little tight on the sides. There we go. Water's on the outside, yeah. There's that. Light oil needs to come all the way up from Narnia. This actually isn't plugged in either. There we go. And now we have to pipe the crude, not crude, petrol, all the way back as well. We're going for cheap. Underneath these are an expensive proposition. Proposal? Whatever. Trim that. I really don't like them because I can't move past them. If this was squeak-through territory, no problem at all. But it super-duper isn't. Uh, what more compacting could we do? Hmm, I think I can figure out a way to save a few more blocks, but I don't want to make this the focus of this uh, episode. Um, it would be kind of rotate this a little, push, push this up here, rotate it up, spread this out, and that we could compress it maybe two or three more blocks. But this was a solid move right here. This saved me, yeah, like four blocks, something like that. Um, okay, now. Here's all the plastic I'll ever need for this one thing in particular. I have everything I need for this one thing in particular. The neat thing about doing this again is it's all kind of self-sufficient-ish. Uh, we're going to just do yellers right there. There you go. Uh, that takes care of that. This goes kind of kittywampus on us for reasons I don't fully remember. Kitty no, it's Kitty Wampus. Probably could do this with yellow. Oh, uh, there's that. Okay, that saves me some heartache.
Um, this definitely could be yellow. This doesn't have to be red. It's going to be a full red belt that's going to be saturated and split. The red doesn't really... Once it gets to... Here. One red makes two yellows. So that, that splits. Having the rest of one of these legs red doesn't make any sense. Yep. Okay. There's plastic. I can't wait to copy-paste this and realize I don't have enough damn room for it. Uh, we'll, f we'll find out. We'll figure it out. Yep. I think that's our keeper. Oh, I already have a thing for this. Hold on. Yep. Boom. There's our guy. So, pull this. Oof. You are... You are stacked, my guy. Uh, that goes away. So there's Purple Science with all the trimmings. Go to Test Live 2. There is nowhere I can paste this. Uh, all right. I'm up for a I'm up for a challenge. Why not? So where we're still at now is still the development phase overall of Project uh, BIY, Build It Yourself. The idea of this whole project is I've already said it a hundred times. I'm not going to bother you again with uh, the lore of the idea, but the real thought behind it is I have this in iterative steps in my head. So right now what we've got is we've been just kicking around much of the how would we do this and it doesn't matter if it looks really bad because guess what it looks really bad but that's okay uh all right i queued up the rest of the research um it doesn't matter if it looks really really bad uh just you know what i'm worth it blue inserters baby uh oh i have a bunch of stone on me right uh let's do that much and do I have more miners? I do not. Any uh, Back to topic, sorry. Uh, the first phase was just trying to get any of this stuff to match. We have a bunch of pieces. We need to Tetris them together. Let's see how this works. After we get a successful run-in, the next step is going to be... Uh, let's call it defragmentation, right? Like, we've got we've got a working build. Now we got to clean it up so it's usable more frequently. I need some belt immunity stuff real bad. Uh, the next step is going to be just, yeah, tidying it up, trimming it up. Let's see if we can make it more efficient. Let's double check the ratios. We do all our error checking. And then I'll be able to say with happiness, you know, this is my book. There are many like it, but this one is mine kind of a thing. And then we're just, we're ready to party. This is what we got. That's kind of how I feel about it. I'm feeling pretty happy about it so far. Yeah, that's that's going to cook for a while. That's going to cook for a hot while. So I can still get everything else hooked up while we wait. Uh, the cool thing is I don't even need these other refineries. This is too much steel. Uh, I found the overkill of steel. I found I found the, the, the meaning of life in terms of steel. And holy crap. We, we bought all the shares of stock in the Fountain of Youth. And we own it now contains one fountain of youth is if you had to mark it on a package and ship it somewhere contains contains one youth <laughs> un unwasted or something or i don't know that sounds funnier in my head for some reason if we were to do a speed run of this now uh, we'd be doing this kind of the opposite of how we're doing it we would figure out exactly how many materials we need all the resources all the research all the trimmings and everything and at that point, we would say, let's work backwards. How much red science do we absolutely need to beat the game? How much green science do we need to absolutely beat the game? How much whatever? And then you just trim. 
just keep trim. You build the bare minimum, you set the times, and that's it. Yeah. It's very straightforward, but again, this run is not designed for the speed, the speedy runs. If I could get the total run time under six hours, actually, what are we even at right now? I'd be very happy. We're at 408. Our other one was 415. So I'm going to keep playing for about, you know, another 10, 12 minutes or whatever. And then we'll compare both saves and you can tell me what well, we'll agree together, I guess, if I did any better or worse. Uh, the answer is I did way better. That's, let's tell you right now. <laughs> nope. Yep, perfect. In a real run, I would have had all of the stuff figured out in terms of uh, placing. I don't have any of that figured out right now. That's why everything looks like a damn mess. But that's okay. There's the green circuits that we produced. I'm out of red belts. Well, we're going through them like candy, so that makes sense. I kind of repeat what I said before about the express stuff is we definitely don't need express belts. There's no reason for express anything. Um, there's never going to be a time when we're just trying to get to the freaking spaceship or any of that. It's not necessary. You, you're not going to see enough of a return on investment, a return on investment for that to be worthwhile. You just won't. Um, speaking of return on investment, everyone's got ammo. I don't see any bleeping. Good stuff. So now that we've also given this a proper run, I kind of feel like our base would be a lot smaller. Given the real deal. It's like, okay, now it's time. We're doing the real deal. I think our base would be a lot, lot smaller. Okay, there's green circuits for you. I require more underneath these. Actually, I'm going to get rid of this. I don't need it, and it's bothering me. I went too far from underneath these. I instinctively went over here. Thank you. Which ammo do I have? I would like more ammunition. Uh, we don't even need to do AP rounds. We cleared out enough nests that I'm happy with them. If we had another dedicated person, I would say, you know what, if you don't mind, either I'll do combat or you do combat. I don't care who does the combat. But somebody has to do the combat. And as long as that's happening, awesome, great, super deluxe, A+, plus, high five all the time. So this isn't terrible, it just takes a little bit of effort. I'm out of underneath these. Why am I out of underneath these? We're out of gears, because red is taking all the gears. Okay, fine. Uh, there, I'll make my own. <laughs> Keep the hands busy, right? Let's go with that. I think realistically I want to centralize red and green circuit production. I don't think I like having red and green circuits part of every build. It kind of feels like wasted production, but we'll go through with this formula the way we've got it. We'll talk about that more when we do the re, the rejiggering, the retweaking, the re everything, which is a technical IT term, I guess. Uh, I worked with a gentleman years ago named Russell. Brilliant dude, like in general, like pretty brilliant dude. Um, and he threw that one at me. He's like, why don't you just rejigger it real quick? And I'm like, what does that even mean? He's like, you know, go in and, uh, rustle around the code and see if anything changes. It's like, that's insane. <laughs> what? <laughs> I love it, but that's insane. Uh, I need more inserters. I ran out. Fresh out of inserting me dues. Uh, boop. Thank you. So that's going to be something to think about if my methodology on this whole thing has changed. If I want to not have red and green circuit production in every single thing. Because this kind of feels like I'm duplicating a lot of code, so to speak. So, like, where's the other red circuit production? This stuff isn't even do. Wait. What's broken now? Something's broken here. 
Disabled by control behavior. Okay, hold on. I think when I removed it and pasted it or something, I think I might have messed it up. It should be whenever light oil is over 10,000. That'll do it. That'll do it. Let's go ahead and make sure our blueprint is not going to be messed up by that. Greater than 2,000. Greater than 10,000. Yeah, perfect. Okay, I messed it up when I pasted it. Oh, nope. Yep. Um, okay, so there's that. So, the point I'm getting to is there's a lot of time where these individualized systems here that we've separated uh, aren't doing anything. I wonder if I've just had a change of methodology and now it's time to just reboot the whole damn thing. Let's first of all take a gander and see our time. We're at 4.13, which is right about where we were last time with our other test live. For this one that we're currently in, we've done all of red, all of green, all of blue. Those three sciences are done for what we need to launch the rocket. I could continue doing research, I've decided not to. For test live, this was our first draft world. Here, we didn't even get really into blue. The most blue we ever accomplished was lubricant, advanced oil processing, and two lab researches. So that's four research total. Not really super impressive, but we've made much better gains. So that shows that we have a much better idea on how everything ought to be going. So what would this really look like? If I was to take a copy of everything here, slap it somewhere else, what does that look like? Well, what I'd probably do is strip out all the stuff that requires more than two or three steps. I would strip out all the oil out of this. I would strip out all the red and all the green. All the red, all the green. I would strip out all this stuff. So this would literally be, there's purple science. That would significantly reduce complexity of all these blueprints, I think. That would rely more on centralization of green and red circuit production and oil production. I don't have any problem with this. What I need, though, is an add-on that I tack on later to ramp up our plastic production so we can actually reveal that plastic back to the world. But that being said, this would go away. Engines are fine. Sulfur is fine. I need it for batteries also. Man, I think I really want to redo everything. Um, this I'm happy with. No notes. Red, green, all good. This gets everything going. We're able to get some little, little mechanicus going on. That's fine. Um, for this, for example, this is also fine. I'm fine with military being that. Uh, I'm fine with our smeltery systems. Those are actually more than fine. So here's an example. Would I have circuits by the time I get to this? We are already making regular inserters. Are regular inserters enough? I think the answer is yes. So how would this look if I got that and that? And I don't need this, but instead I need that. What does this look like, right? Much smaller, I'll tell you that right now. So I think I'm gonna call this soonish, but I really want to give myself a real serious thought as to how this works. Uh, yeah, this greatly reduces a lot of the shenanigans. That fixed it. I mean, that there we go, we're done. Um, this is still gear production. Iron comes in, gears happen. Which, I don't, oh, you know what? Might be able to... Might be able to compact this really hard. Hang on, now I'm really, now I really got the thinkums going. So iron and steel, or iron and gears go on one side, green and reds go on another. Okay, how can I how can I pull this in? What if Oh, gears are on the far side. So that could mean 
Oh, but it still has to merge. This still... Pushing it to one side still has to happen. Unless I push it to one side earlier. Does that work for me? Nope, because this is going to push on the far end. This is going to push on the other. That's not going to fly. The system I had a moment ago is what's necessary. That. Uh, which works. But... We can still add more gear production to keep this tight. How does that look? I think I, I'm already making gears somewhere else. I'm already putting it to a belt. Why am I complicating things? It looked cool. I mean, yeah, it did. It looked cool. I think I like this. I think I like this better. I think this uncomplicates things more efficiently for what I'm going for. This keeps everything separate still. The documentation is clear. Oh, the only thing I'm actually missing is power lines. There we go. I think this is what we're going to work on. I'm going to I'm going to call that there. And we're going to de green and de red everything. Green and red is not being made locally. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. This is fine. I'm happy with this because, again, this is our nice starter kicker base. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Yeah, I cut down stone a little bit. I left the steel. We can make stone way faster than we can make steel. Um, okay, so where's... This is our... This is what we're working on right now. Oop. What would... Uh, what would this look like? This is this is another one of my real favorite. Like it, it, we're treating it like it's a mall. Again, I don't really care for the word mall, but it makes the most sense. Like if you had to communicate to somebody, hey, where's the mall at? Okay, I, I get what you mean. Um, in this case, we oh actually we need copper anyhow for the plates. I need copper anyway for for the plates for this. So sending copper here does kind of make sense. Actually, this does this does make sense. Otherwise, the alternative is I need to send a fifth line just for copper or just for circuits. If I tore this out, I'd have to send in circuits anyway. I'm actually happy with this. This is small scale enough. I'm cool with it. Where's the next thing that we use green circuits? Uh, green, yeah, in blue science. Is there any way I could trim this? There's tons of ways. There's tons of ways. We could do some proper gutting real fast. So this comes over here. How much lubricant do I need to make? Uh, ba 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 ba. Electric engines, anyway. 15 every 10. How much can you make? 10 every 1. Okay. So every 7 seconds? We could do 10 of these? Uh, yeah, 7 and a half seconds, I think. Oh, so I could do seven, seven of these, I'm talking about, seven of these things for one of that. I think that makes sense for us to have two then. Um, Alright, we have a copy of this, we have a blueprint of it. Let's gut this thing. That gets vaporized. Out goes plastic, but the thing is I already did the plastic enough for just this system. 
that's the thing that kind of bugs me is I did all the math already for this. So this specs out perfectly to feed this, but this is a lot of infrastructure for one dumb thing, right? Even for the engines, what I really should do is I should probably take this and pull this out by one square. And then put a splitter here. Prioritize blue science. And then here you go. Here's engines. Use it literally anywhere else. Because there's going to be a time where I don't need blue science. Heck, with uh, the current save we've got going on here, I'm swimming in this stuff. I don't know what to do with this. We're, we're done already. <laughs> Oh, is there a way for me to figure out whether or not there's a thousand uh, items on ground? Does that count as items on a belt? It doesn't. Does this get items on a belt? It doesn't. Is there a way I could see items on a belt? Tile ghost? Item request slot? Entity ghost? No. Um, oh, I can't, I can't say items on a belt either. Rough. Okay, that's fine. Piles? No. That's not right. It's an entity. Um, but, like, even right now, like, I'm swimming in a dumpster amount of engines. What am I going to do with it? So I think what I'll do... I think I need to take a break. I think I need to figure this out a little bit and see how I want to refactor this. Realistically, I think I should just break down oil into its own thing and kick out plastic. Plastic goes on a belt, and that's the end of it. Hmm. Lots to think about. See, this is a discovery, a journey of understanding and learning and everything. I'm just working through all this crap. Oh, yeah, I'm overloaded. Okay, that's it. Thanks for joining me. Name's John Megacycle. Stuff's getting weird and good and good and weird, and I hope to catch you next time. Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Thanks for checking out my video. I also want to take a moment to thank all my supporters and donators, and if you'd like to join up with me and game with my crew, all the information to get connected is in the description below. Thanks again, and I hope to catch you next time.